Hi, welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Glad you could make it. Now, I've been scanning uh, Amazon and eBay and all kinds of sites looking for something new to bring to the channel, something that you guys might be able to use. And I found something. It's pretty interesting, and I think you guys are going to like it. It's a tripod. Now, this is not just any tripod. This tripod is designed to hold vertical antennas, uh, their own brand and other brands also. And guess what? It's this big when it's broken down into a carrying size. So let's check it out. I'm gonna have to talk to Tony. Tony's my cameraman sometimes, and this is not what he was supposed to be doing. So let's talk to him. I asked you to do some B-roll on that new tripod. Yeah, man, I did it with one of those old cameras you had, the old film cameras. It worked great as a tripod. Yeah, that's great, but I asked you to show how it was used for doing ham radio and using vertical antennas on it. Ham radio is still a thing? Never mind, I'll do it. Not only does this tripod work great as a camera tripod, it also works with a lot of different vertical antennas. So let's check this out. Okay, let's take a look at what comes in the package when you get the package. Now, as you guys can see, there's a nice um, case or bag that it comes from with, with a nice little pull, pull strap here. All right. So let's just open it up. So you get the tripod. All right. You get two of these. One is a 3H24 and the other one's UHF. And then as you notice on this UHF one, I have the, these are ring terminals and they are big enough for the bigger banana plugs to plug in. That's what I'll probably use for doing my, uh, my ground radios, but since I already have those and it doesn't cost me anything, you have your, your, your connection down here at the bottom. All right, now how this works is these, you have this screw here, okay? You unscrew this all the way and just pull them out. These are nice aluminum tubings with bushings. And you do each one that way. And then the same as, they didn't get that one all the way out, there you go. You have to make sure you open it all the way out, all the way. So it, it's got a pretty good size to it like that. It's hard to see in the camera there, but uh, it's about two feet tall. It's good for tabletop. And on the side here, you guys can see this right here. This is the uh, three eighths to quarter. So if you want to put your camera on it, that's how you put the camera on. Okay, let me, let me bring this thing all the way down again. Same thing as you twist it all the way, push them in, and twist it and tighten it. Okay, so that stands there like that. Now these have multiple settings. And if you guys saw it when I first had it, these fold up this way to make it smaller. So you're taking away this part, okay? And then they come down and there's like two or three settings. So your first setting is your normal tripod, like this. And then by pushing that down and pulling it out to the next one, it goes out a little wider. Do it again, it goes a little wider. And if you do all of them that way, oops. So up two. And now this thing goes pretty flat. And when you extend these legs out, this thing is pretty sturdy, let me tell you. So let's put it back up to this top section again. Okay, put them all in and pull them out. They all go to the same spot. Now these, you loosen this a little bit, which it already is, and these go in there like that. And then you tighten this down. And that's it, that's in there all the way. This is for your 3 8 24. For those type of antennas. And you can actually pull this up a little bit if you want to and straight and tighten it right there if you want so it's out a little ways. Now, what you don't have on these is this all everything here is part of the 
center connector. There is no ground side, so let me show you here. So I pull this out. What I've got is a small, <laughs> as you can as you can see, I've got a fitting on here, but I've got a small, or I should say thin, or nut there, and then I'll put my I put these on there also like we did on this one and then screw when it's when you screw this down I'll screw this up to make it tight so that's how I'll do my ground radials and they'll be nice and low down like that okay so that's pretty much it guys uh, it's all made out of nice aluminum and I will say okay on the on the 3H24 uh, I watched a video where this was the paint is the only thing here that, that, that keeps it from being continuity to this. If you scratch the paint just a little bit, it has continuity everywhere. And this is like metal, probably aluminum. Uh, let me check real quick. Oh, I don't have my phone on me. Okay, I think it's aluminum or metal. doesn't really matter. And everything is really well done. You get your heat shrink on everything to make it nice and strong. So, good quality, guys. I think you guys will like this if you decide to purchase one. Okay, so this is the site on Amazon. There will be a link to this down in the description. And the one I have here is the one that's up right now, which is the 3H24, but it also has the UHF. The UHF is this one here, if you look at the picture, where it comes out the side on the top there for the uh, uh, coax connector. That is just UHF. But this one comes with both, as you can see right here. So it says 3H24 and then SO239 and if, as you notice everything comes out the bottom and then it also comes with this 3H24 adapter to quarter inch so you can hook your camera to it or screw, the, screw it into your camera and then it, it comes with all these ring terminals and what's really nice is these ring terminals are will take the larger banana plugs or you know that you you can just plug them right in to hook up your radios okay and then, let's see, this is all the parts it comes with. It's a picture of everything. Now, the, the one thing, and I'll show this when we get into the antenna part of this, but on the, if you look at the this here, on this, now let me bring it up here. If you look at the 3H24, that's all center of the coax. There is no way of hooking anything to it for your ground radios but i will show you a way of doing that when you uh when you watch the video for the antenna when i actually hook an antenna up to 3h24 all right so just make sure that you if you if you if you want uhf buy the uhf it, it'll work fine but for a little bit more i think i'd just buy the 3h24 and that's what i did Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is a really high quality tripod that does two things. It, it can do 3H24 or UHF, either one. So, and they sell both. Well, they sell that UHF antenna. And then you guys, if you have one of those 17 foot um, MFJs, uh, extendable stainless steel whips, you can use that on it too with maybe your um, Wolf Rover coil or something like that. And you may, you may see that in the future here. And one of the things I have also is one of the antennas from the same company, and it's a pretty, pretty slick setup. It's very compact. Uh, I set it up in my living room one day on 80 meters, and I was surprised that I could actually tune it with no radios or anything. And it was bringing guys in who are local to me, but that's 80s distance, you know, and stuff like that. And they were really strong. So I, I haven't tested the antenna yet, but we'll see how it is. But make sure if you're not a subscriber here, that you subscribe, hit uh, the bell, hit all. That way you'll get the new videos that I put out, and especially that one, because it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a really good antenna. Don't forget, down in the description, I will have a link to the tripod, and uh, if you guys are interested in it, go check it out. And if you don't care, if you have UHF, and that's all you have, then buy the cheaper one. It'll still work just fine. So I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Ventures. 
You guys all be safe. Uh, hope to catch you on the airway. 73 all.